Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So in this video I thought I would show you a little bit on how to get a new kernel and how to move over to the testing repos. Now I've been on Arch for just a couple days and I'm, to be honest I'm actually going back to my old ways which is not good but I wanted to make at least one more Arch video before if I decide to move on to something else. So a lot of people thought I moved completely over to Arch. No, uh, this is my desktop. My main com computer that I use is still Gen 2. So I am always will be a Gen 2 person. I don't think I will ever take Gen 2 off of that computer. Even if I have to reinstall it, Gen 2 will remain. So just clarifying that. The first thing we're going to do is go to the testing repos. So to do that, say sudo vim etsy pacman.conf now you do have to have sudo down here so all you're gonna do uh, is go down to the bottom and you see the testing in here and I like to get all the testing ones even the multi-lib testing and the community testing now on KDE this will probably be um, quite a bit of updates so if I decide to stay on Arch Linux I will most likely move down to a, a window manager so because I don't need all the updates uh, constantly I'm only gonna try to update this system once a week if possible so now since we've changed the mirrors we have to sync it so we're gonna say Pac-Man SYU if you don't want to update, you can just say why, why, but might as well update the system. This should have a ton. Oh, maybe not a ton. So, net, a new network manager. Lib DM, a new curl. Glib. All right, uh, not as many as I thought. All right, so we'll click yes. We'll uh, do a new tab here. So sudo pacman-ss, little s, and then we'll say Linux LTS. So we're going to do the LTS kernel. We don't need the sudo for this. So what we're going to do is get the Linux LTS headers and just the Linux LTS. So the Linux LTS is 1.14.72-1 and the new the kernel that I'm currently on is 4.18.9 uh, apparently the arch equivalent dash 1 so we're, we're gonna do next so that's done. I'm kinda surprised there wasn't a new kernel all right, anyway, so we're going to say sudo pacman-s linux lts and then linux lts headers. Uh, most likely you don't need the headers. If you just do linux lts, it's fine. All right, so just download this. So my, if I am also going to be on the testing, there's from my experience in the past, there have been a lot of updates to the kernel. And every time that there was an update to the kernel, I just didn't feel like uh, rebooting this PC every time there is one so that's why I'm going to the LTS if you're trying to lock it down a little bit I, I would probably go to the LTS or another type of kernel if you decide to go to say like the CK kernels or a different type of kernel the Zen kernel this uh, this is the same way so now if we actually go into our boot LS You'll notice that there's an init ram fs dash linux lts. There's the vm 
linux-linux.lts. So as long as the initramfs and the vm linux is in there, you are good to uh, run the grub mk config dash o boot grub grub cfg. So, okay, let's uh, we'll just go home and rerun this. Interesting. Well, there should be a grub in there. This did work before, so let me take a look here. Interesting. My hmm. Wow, okay, it's not Well, this is interesting. Uh, my root is not even mounted right now. Huh. Well, let's try this again. Dev SDA 2 to boot. Now, I'm going to rerun this because it didn't go into the proper place. It went into the boot file which is attached to the root file. I don't know why... Oh, I think I know why. Alright. Alright, so now everything that I've said before now if we go back to the boot ls there is the grub so now if we rerun this it should work uh, I will need to fix my f stab really fast so this is just a little extra alright so I'm gonna go up Dev SDA2. Boot. EXT2. Uh, let me see what I have. Let me see what I have for my Gen 2 1. So, one second. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, okay. One, two, five. So now we've entered into there. I just need to cat out my F stab. Okay, there's my boot. No A time. Okay. So I'll just go back here. No A time. Zero, zero. Uh, let's do it this way. All right, so now everything should mount per perfectly fine. So once I reboot, I should be in the LTS kernel on the next time go. So that's how you would uh, add the any type of kernel uh, other than the generic kernel that 
arch comes with. Um, so if you want a longer, or I should say a long-term kernel that has a lot of security patches and stuff that doesn't get updated all the time, this is the way that I would probably go. Uh, and if you are curious um, about the the testing repos on Arch Linux, they are really not that bad. It is not that scary. It's honestly, it's I out of the five years that I ran Arch Linux, and most of that time I was on the testing repos. I came maybe two problems out of that time, and they are pretty simple fixes. So it's really not that scary. You guys can run it. If you decide to go back, it's slot. All you have to do is comment those repos out and refresh your repos, and you'll be ahead for maybe a week or two on certain packages, but you'll get caught up. So if you don't like it, then you can get out of it. Which, unlike in my Gentoo, I'm still in Gentoo testing. And I am stuck there unless I mask like my entire system. I don't feel like doing that. Or I could reboot or reinstall everything, which I don't know if I want to either. So, so it's just uh, a matter of preference. Uh, Gen 2 testing is really not that bad. So um, I will give this a few days just to see what it's like uh, if there's too many updates then most likely I will go to Slackware on here because I do know that there are not that many updates. They are behind. They still have KDE 4. So that might be best, better for me uh, for with a new baby so I don't have to manage a system like this, uh, which this computer I rarely use anyway. So but I've also considered going to maybe the BSDs. So if I can get my laptop to work, I'll either put Arch back on onto that and use it that way, or go to the BSDs and just use it as a testing ground for different uh, for different distros, BSDs, uh, Lumos, Solaris, stuff like that. I want to try some different stuff. So. Let me know if you guys have any questions, uh, and I will let you guys know in the next video if this works. I'm going to reboot now, so I will catch you guys in the next video, and I will try to get a new video out before Tuesday, because that's when the baby will be here on Tuesday, and I will have be obviously busy with that. So uh, catch you guys in the next couple days. Later.